So I recently bought an 11 inch iPad Pro as a portable device to take away with me and complete some more intensive tasks that my old iPad, an iPad Air 2, simply wasn't up to completing. Now originally, I had no intention of replacing my 15 inch MacBook Pro for my main video editing device. But since using the iPad Pro, my opinion has changed. So just the other day, I created my first video using the iPad Pro with a piece of software called LumaFusion and I was impressed, like seriously impressed. This software works super well with the iPad and has in a sense given me a whole new perspective on the video production process. No longer do I have to sit up at a desk with my computer or have a laptop blasting its fan and heating up on my lap. I can just use this iPad, which is dead silent and doesn't even get slightly hot, which is genuinely incredible. Now before the introduction of iPadOS, this process would have been a little bit more difficult, but the workflow is now just as good, if not even slightly better than using a traditional computer. With the USB-C port and then the Files app, I can simply plug in my camera straight into the iPad open the files app and drag the footage straight onto this device. Just as a little side note, I recommend if you want to use an iPad Pro for video editing that you purchase a model with around 256 gigabytes or more storage so you don't have an issue with larger video files. Once you have the footage on your iPad, now all you need to do is open LumaFusion, locate the same folder you imported your footage from and drag it in and you're ready to go. It's really quite simple. With iPad OS also comes the ability to drag and drop images straight from the internet. So if you need to add diagrams or images, all you need to do is swipe up the Safari window, look up what you want, and then just place it in there. As well as this, you could also have your script up on a window to read it out whilst you are recording your audio. Now don't get me wrong, LumaFusion is not as powerful as Final Cut Pro. However, for most people, it will do literally everything you need. I don't utilize many of the features present within Final Cut Pro as, as a whole, my video editing style is quite basic, which means LumaFusion is completely able to do everything that I need. But don't take this as me saying that LumaFusion isn't capable, as this software has an insane amount of features, some of which I probably don't even know exist. Using LumaFusion on an iPad is a lot of fun and a big contrast from using a mouse or cursor and instead making use of a finger, or in my case, an Apple Pencil. Whilst it does take a while to get used to, I feel as if this method of input is just as good as a mouse. The actual use of an iPad for video editing is fantastic. Just yesterday, I was adding 4K footage shot at 60 frames per second from my DJI Osmo Action, and it worked flawlessly. In fact, the video that you are watching right now is also entirely made using the iPad Pro, from the scripting process all the way up to the video editing and audio recording. A lot of people seem to dismiss how capable iPads truly are and claim that tablets will never be as good as laptops or be able to replace laptops. But based off my few days using this iPad, I have to disagree. This iPad without a doubt is truly capable and I no longer think the hardware is the issue, but rather the software is the limiting factor. But in saying that, more and more professional software has been coming out like LumaFusion and a once seemingly impossible dream of using an iPad for everything is slowly turning into a reality. Anyways guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. I seriously hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or feedback, make sure you leave a comment down below. And once again, thank you so much for watching.